Right, I've managed the, this field I'm in now. It's got a big herd, but they're right over there. There was one standing up, but I was able to like keep my head down so it didn't see me at all. Sometimes it's when they see you, they get nervous. And a pack of about 30 kids have just been through this field. So that didn't phase them. But um, it's all going to be downhill now. Then, Yeah, it's all going to be downhill. It's my hat and my bag and my apple. My jelly had gone off when I opened it up. <laughs> Green mould on it. <laughs> I couldn't have that. <sighs> Crook's Peak right over there. I'm going to be picking up the west. All I've got to do is go across this field now with sheep in it. To get onto a lane and then take me to the um, West Mendip Way. <sighs> all the way back to Winscombe, then up the strawberry line to get the bus. And we just check the time. Got on a nine o'clock bus, don't forget. It's now quarter past four, so I won't be getting the five o'clock one, but I have to get the next one. So we've planned that just right. Right, so I'm gonna get over this style. Put the camera down a minute. Get over the style. Put the hat on. Apple and stick. Here's Sheila. Hello everyone. I don't care what I look like, basically, it's to, um, keep the sun off. It don't really matter what it looks like. The, the good thing about it, it folds up, it folds up nice and small. See? This folds up quite small, like that, in my bag. It's nice and floppy, it's got holes in it, so it lets air in, it doesn't stifle my head at all. Yeah. It's, it's nice and comfy. Hee -hee. Oh, that's relaxing isn't it? Nice stroll home now. Stroll back to Winscombe. <sighs> the worst thing could happen is they ch they've changed the bus times so they come 10 minutes earlier. <sighs> so uh, I'm planning on being back there by 6. I usually always have to wait. There's quite often a bus comes the other way at quarter to six. But these are the last buses, see? The last buses. I'm so glad those cows weren't coming that, you know, that would have made it so awkward for me. I would have had to gone down the dangerous road to pick up the track out just over there. There's a track over there, you see. The West Mendip Weir is just over there. You can smell the cow poo and farm smells. Something I always tell people you can't capture. You can show someone in a picture and then they're like that and then they have to imagine it. Yeah, it's been quite a hike actually. I wouldn't have had time for the um, fort. No way. I wouldn't have had time for the fort. Not only that, I'm close to running out of water. <sighs> I've got an apple now. And an orange. There might even be two oranges actually. I'm going to keep the water to the last minute. Sometimes if there's a 
if there is a place, a home of someone, they sometimes fill my bottle up for me. But I haven't really found a place like that going along here. There we are, there's the style that I came across over there. Look at the clouds. Beautiful, isn't it? Just imagine in two days time though, there's going to be a huge thunderstorms. Tomorrow is supposed to be hotter today than today. Um, so I'm glad I've done this today because I was just starting to feel the effects of the heat. But I did stop, get, get in the shade for five or ten minutes, have a drink. It's just that my pulse go better to normal. That's what I normally do, let me pulse get back to normal. Let's see if I can just get out this way. Oh no, I'll have to climb the style again. Another style, everyone. Another style. Sweets. I just want a video, just a bit more of the the walk down here. I don't think I've been in reverse for a while. I can't really remember actually. I mean, I've done so many videos of my walks. So many videos I've done. Now that wood over there, that leads up to the drove that I was on this morning where the cows were gathering on the other side of that wood and where they were they were in there because the field that they're usually in was being archaeologically assessed. So I can imagine them being put back there because I've not seen cows up across the wood before now. Because in theory, you see, I'm not going to, I don't need to, I come out the same or that's the same place. Do you know what I mean? The, um, and the, where I'm going now won't be long grass. Well, it might be, I don't know. They did say it was overgrown. But, um, yes, that's uh, where I used to do, come down through those woods there. And we used to go across this field and go, come out at the top there but uh, I, th I think you still can but I because it's usually inhabited by cows I tend to do the right angles and come up this lane and uh, go down this lane and turn like that Yeah, because the intention this morning was to come up this lane here, not the drove, but this lane, then cross the road, then walk up the road towards Robo straight to Row Barrow Bottom and not go on the quarry tour. We should remember that's what I was doing. I was doing the quarry tour. So because that was another loop bigger than I remembered. Um, I couldn't do the, um, what do you call it, Robo Hillfort, but I don't think I would have wanted to do, what's the point in climbing up that big hill in the heat? So I think I've done everything wisely, kept in the shade down by the streams, kept myself cool. So I'm just going to keep the camera running until we get up the top here, to a junction. This is the West Mendip Way we're on. Big old stone there, look. This is the West Mendip Way. This is a signpost. And if you go up there, 
you'll come to that big main road, you'll cross over that, you go straight up another smaller road, and you'll come to um, um, Road Barrow. Now, that I've just met about 30 kids, they're actually going the wrong way. Because what, unless they can go in in the back way, because the, 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 the long bottom farm they wanted is that way, not down there and over there. But there might be another route to it. There might be a route to long bottom farm over there. You know, back entrance. So this is still like a drove in many ways, but it's called the West Mendip Way. And it's reputed to be an ancient walkway. So where I'm walking now, loads, hundreds and thousands of people have walked, not all at once, but on journeys across the southwest, on pilgrimage, pilgrimages to Stonehenge and things like that. You follow this West Mendip Way until you get to somewhere like Shepton, Mallet and Froome and you pick up the East Mendip Way. And they'll take you out to Salisbury Plain and all that. And the circles. The reference point for me here is that tree there sticking out, look. That's a good reference point, that one there. It really sticks out and I, I remember that one from before. And the three of them together there and some more over there. It's almost like a landmark, that tree, to be quite honest. And then we just follow this track. We'll be all downhill in a minute. All downhill in the beautiful countryside. What more do you want? You can see why well, in the winter, obviously it gets dark earlier, you can't do these long walks that I'm doing now. You can only go out and do short bits and pieces. Because, um... Time is not on my side. No, it ain't. Now that's where that gate's left open. We used to be able to go across this field. They, they've got, they've still got a pedestrian gate there. And it's pointing that way. The arrow. Look, there's a gate over there. So I'm wondering whether, the, if I had a proper book, I would say that this led to Winscombe, if you follow it that way. Do you know what I mean? But we'll do it my way. We'll go down here, because I'm not fiddling about now. But I expect there are other routes. That's up through the top to the drove, where the black cows were. Up there. Yeah, what was I saying? Um... Yeah, I, I expect... I need to get a book, actually. A proper book that really highlights all the pathways because I would think there would be another way to um, uh, Winscombe uh, that would take you more straight into the centre. I mean, I know one walk where you can do that. Um, I didn't risk it today because there could have been cows, um, there could have been cows there. I know with this cow's back where I've just been now, they do tend to stay up high on the hill. They always have done when I've been there before. And there's that lovely tree. I'm going to turn off now, over and out. This is Sheila, 18th of July, 2016. About half four in the afternoon now. This could be number seven, eight video, or I don't know what it is. Over and out, everyone. Beautiful skies.